What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Heading to my next service call, we have an existing long-time client, multiple systems of air conditioning in their home, multiple. I think they have at least six systems. Um, what's prompting the service call today is the basement air conditioning system is not blowing cold air. Let's go see what's going on over there. Smash that thumbs up button. Let me get your thoughts, feedback, even criticism down in the comment section down below when you're done watching the video. Understood. There you go. Okay, let's go to the basement. All right, there's the basement thermostat. Cool is on. It was on heat 74, so now it's on cool on. And it's set for 70. We have a return grill right here, a nice clean filter. We have air blowing out of this vent, ambient temperature. We gotta get on the other side of this wall. We have two systems in here. It's a carrier, family and kitchen. TXV, basement. Okay, uh, good thing I'm not really that obese, just slightly, like 20 pounds overweight. Um, I don't feel nothing, but we have a 24,000 BTU blower. All right, we don't have a condensate float switch. So let's see if we can go outside and find which unit it is. And there are six units here. We need to go down and about to get to it. Yeah. Down that one. I doubt that's the one I was waiting for to turn on though, but. <laughs> or I can just hop over the railing. All right. Basement. No effing way. There's no way I'm that lucky. Basement. Master. First floor. Second floor. Third floor. A pool heater. There's a pool on the other side of this wall, by the way. It's right there. And, and the water. Basement. All right, let's see if we can feel that contactor being pulled in. This one's too loud. All right, let's get some tools and look inside here. All right, got my tool bag. If you guys are interested or curious as to know what I carry in this tool bag, there are links in the description box down below. If you click on those links, I get a small little commission from Amazon. Amazon, I find, is usually the best way to buy hand tools. <sighs> I need to go to the gym. And I'm gonna loosen up that one right there. And that one right there. And let's take a wager. Let's have some bets. Is the contactor pulled in? And the answer is no. Contactor is not pulled in. I right, see we got one of these boards right here. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. So that's two, three or three, two. If we go to our, let's see, flash codes. Three, two, low pressure switch. Wah, 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 wah. I went to go get the fake Kev 
Oh, you haven't heard me say that in a while. Out of my uh, veto to take the uh, caps off, but there are no caps. No caps are key. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, your service port caps are the first line of defense against leaks. And here there are no caps. What do you want to bet there's no refrigerant? What do you want to bet, guys? No refrigerant that key. That sucks. If we take a look at this uh, rating plate. You can hardly read the model on this, but it looks like we had six, six pounds of R410A factory charged. We do need a 10 degree uh, subcooling from the TXV. Uses R410A. Bryant, fake ass carrier. So, we don't got that much refrigerant in the system. No missing service caps. See, there are service caps here. There are service caps here. Service caps there, there, and there. Everywhere the service caps except this one. Isn't that interesting? Hmm.